Ever since Freightbringer was released into Year 3 and it was upgradable to the Max Light, it's pretty much been everybody's PvE loadout, pretty much. But a lot of people really can't get it, they might not be able to do the actual raid, they might not have time, and they simply might not be just as lucky as some other people, including me. But either way, there are some other guns, like the one I'm using right now, that can substitute pretty well for the Fatebringer. And so what this gun is called, the Whale. And it is currently being sold by the Future War Cult vendor, as you can see, it is a Future War Cult hand cannon. And at first glance, it doesn't really look that great. It does have a little lower range and a tiny bit of lower stability. But if you look down at the perks, you can see that it has range finder, outlaw, as well as explosive round. Now, these are all really good in PvE, especially with the range finder. That will kind of compensate for the lower range. And with the outlaw and the, and the explosive rounds, it is very, very useful in, in PvE, especially in close range. Now, obviously, it does have a magazine of 7, but the Outlaw perk definitely, it just pretty much destroys that. It doesn't really, it makes it feel as if you pretty much have an infinite amount of bullets, which is what Outlaw pretty much is supposed to feel. It's, it helps you reload really, really quickly, and that's exactly what it's doing here. So this gun is really good, as mentioned, it does have Outlaw for reloading, and that really makes it good in kind of close quarters situation. If you're getting those headshots, it will definitely reload very quickly. And it'll pretty much feel, like I said, like you have a, an infinite amount of bullets because you just keep reloading so quickly that it just feels like it, you never run out in a way. Also, with the explosive rounds, you can get a lot of splash damage even when getting headshots. You'll be hitting the headshots get and getting the outlaw while kind of damaging other enemies and flinching them and giving you time to reload as well as kind of time your shots. And the stability is also really good. It, ha it might have a tiny bit less than other guns. Like, it's barely noticeable, but it's still good. It's nothing like the the really really like horrible ones where it doesn't have to like you can still hit it it's really good and it also is straight up the recoil but finally it really isn't obviously as amazing as the Freightbringer but really if you can't get the Freightbringer you're just kind of not high enough light to get the Vault of Glass I would definitely buy this because it is kind of just a replacement up until you get your kind of desired PvE loadout as you can see I'm pretty much hitting all those headshots and that while I was doing that I was getting explosive damage to the ones nearby and so, like I said, even though it does have 7 only, it definitely feels like you have more. Just because of that outlaw. And finally, if you really can't, if you don't really mind about the outlaw, you can actually switch to Hammer Forged. And so with Hammer Forged, it can actually, it can actually boost your range even more with the rangefinder. Thus even making it a pretty good PvE, PvE gun, or PvP gun. So it actually, I used it in PvP after I kind of finished recording. And it wasn't bad, it wasn't bad whatsoever. It could definitely hold its own if you really can't find any other gun. So yeah, this gun, I think a lot of people should take a second look. I mean, it does kind of look bad at first sight, but once you really start to use it, it actually becomes very viable. And so yeah, that is it. That is it for today, a quick video. I'm actually working on a much bigger video. That is why I've been playing PvE all day and I kind of noticed this gun, that it was very good. But hopefully that video will be up tomorrow. So yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.